Hello, welcome back to Learn Economia. Today we are going to discuss the concept of gender development in that. We have to understand that whenever we go for gender development index, this will be looking at the gender inequalities when it comes to three important dimensions of human development. And what are these important dimensions of human development that have been taken here in the gender development index? The first aspect is health, the second aspect is education and the third aspect is command over economic resources. What is health? Health is something that is very much important for a person's life, isn't it? And for the same reason, here we are measuring health in terms of the life expectancy at birth. When it comes to gender development index, we are considering the life expectancy at birth of female and male separately. Now, moving to education. Education is being considered by going for the concept of expected years of schooling for children when it comes to male and female and also we are looking at the mean years of schooling when it comes to both male and female. Moving to command over economic resources, again we are going for a gender differences, we are going for a male female difference and this is being measured by female and male estimated on income. income. Let's discuss more about the gender development index. So if you have uh, an understanding related to SGI or human development index, This might make you think that those dimensions that we have considered for gender development indexes, these are looking alike for human development index, isn't it? So what we could say here is that like human development index, the gender development index would, is assessing the very same criteria but the difference here is that in the case of gender development index, we are going to see or we are going for an investigation of gender differences with respect to the dimensions we have just considered. And for the same reason, we can see that gender development index is something that will be examining the gender equality. And the gender development index as well as the gender em the empowerment measure, development index and empowerment measure. These two were first introduced in, in the United Nations Development Program's Human Development Report, UNDP's Human Development Report. In the year 1995. Let's see more about it. Why this has been taken? The main goal of these assessments was to give a gender sensitive dimension to human development. Index. Okay, so in order to give a gender sensitive dimension to human development index, coming to gender development index, this was the first measurement that was being devised. It will be something, the gender development in index, we consider it as a distribution sensitive metric. Why? This is because it takes into consideration the impact of existing gender gaps which prevail with the three different components of the human development index. Why do you see it as distributed sensitive or distribution sensitive? And what does it mean by distribution sensitive? So this means that it will be considering the differences with respect to male and female when it goes for these three different dimensions. It considers not just the average or overall well-being of the people. It will also consider how this differs 
with men and women. So the HDI as well as GDI together with the gender empowerment measure, these were established to compete with the traditional income based methods of development. Uh, like uh, the gross development, uh, uh, gross domestic product, uh, GDP per capita, gross national product, etc. Now, move to the gender related development index, which we call as a gender sensitive HDI extension, which will take care of the disparities in life expectancy, education, and wealth between men and women life expectancy, education, and wealth. It employs an inequality abortion penalty, which would be penalizing the gender inequalities in any of the human development index categories. So uh, in, in certain cases, certain countries might be showing gender differences uh, in life expectancy uh, or else in certain countries we can see the existence of gender differences with respect to education or in certain other nations we can see some disparity with respect to gender dimension in standard of living on GDP. So, when it comes to gender development index, it is something that is considered to predict a certain aspect related to uh, gender differences. So this has been predicted that, this has already predicted that women will live five years longer than males in, in terms of life expectancy. And also it takes into consideration the income inequalities that prevail between men and women but the problem here is that this gender development index is something that you cannot utilize without HDI score only with HDI score you can consider this it cannot be used as a standalone indication of gender disparities it is something that depends upon HDI it depends on HDI score it is not an independent measure it is just something that depends upon the HDI score as I told you uh, this gender development index will be considering the uh, female male differences with respect to uh, health with respect to education with respect to living standard isn't it so let's consider more about it Moving to this, the gender development index. Here we are looking for the ratio of female and male HDI. And uh, it is a direct measure of gender divide, a very, very direct measure of gender divide. Where we go for female HDI expresses a percentage of male HDI. Okay. And also we could see that there have been various concerns that have arisen as a result of the introduction of the gender development index and also the women's development index. Now we can see that almost uh, 160 is a nation for these nations a GDI is being calculated. And based on absolute divergence from gender parity in HDI values, we can divide countries into five important groups. And there will be certain nations that would be favoring uh, the this, uh, them, that would be favoring males. There will be some other nations that would be favoring females. So this kind of uh, uh, this kind of basis is considered for categorizing nations. The gender development index is something that would indicate how much women women are lagging behind their male counterparts. When it comes to health, when it comes to education, when it comes to standard of living, how <coughs> women lack behind, women lack behind the men. 
and by assessing this we need to understand how far the lagging behind category needs some assistance so for the same reason this would be helpful but this kind of an assessment is helpful in determining the true gender gap that prevail in an economy with respect to human development and gender development and this will help the government of that particular nation to go for uh, their own respective policy measures to close such a kind of gender gap if it if at all something like that exists so that's all about today's session thank you for watching today's session you can like share and subscribe this channel for more videos you can join free our telegram community for doubt clearance and discussion link of the same would be given in the description box and also you can download our app for study materials and pyq materials for the very same also link is given in the description box again i would like to remind you to like share and subscribe for more such videos thank you for watching